for all Serrano owed me, he'd paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Even I could guess what Demolisao meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. something I wasn't seeing. fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. evidence for De Silva. Either Victor Bronco and Nevis were doing a lot of charity work together, or this was payment for something else. Were the crush of Prado in Victor's pocket? Had he tipped them off about the stadium exchange? Hurry up before more of those assholes showed up. It was locked from the outside. seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, true to form, more of the rats came out of their holes. At least my visitors have been kind enough to leave the gate open. Time to see what VIP treatment awaited me on the penthouse floor.
time I bought, it had been going real cheap. If I was gonna plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now. That was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building. And all the evil in it. Vai, vai, rápido, rápido, vai! Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Want to be a hero? I got nothing to lose, let's do it! Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senor Nevis. What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem? My problem? Wanna know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue! That's what my fucking problem is! I don't know what you're talking about, American. All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You were a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything! We have the record! Oh, so people can sell their livers? Their hearts? Their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck! We kept people safe in the city! Decent people! Safe! I know a lot of powerful people. Well, your powerful people aren't gonna help you out of this one, buddy.
city was dangerous, friend. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's growing on me. <laughs> nice to see your happy tourists smiling. <laughs> Doing here. I came back. I can see that. But why? To save you. Oh, yeah, real hero. Listen, it's now come, come with me, Max, to Brazil. A chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and brother's hatching. To profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get into loosen the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. This thing works. Everything. No, you don't. I'm sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her, and I didn't. She married into a sick family. Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a chance to live. I mean, as a family. I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Well, buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York, uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Me, yeah, I got business to take care of. Uh, I I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I, I know, uh, I, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. But hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be, figure I. Might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming. You, you know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I, I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. <laughs> maybe I will. But not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah. Not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've uh, looked through this information you gathered. It's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. This was known. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't known. A proper gentleman. Mm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. Well, officially, there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. Creative? De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga a Becker. Que vim para ele. Ah!
Olha aqui. Tropa, tropa. Ei, moço. Mano, o que é esse cara aí? Manda tua conta, rapaz. Vai, vai. Nossa, fudeu! <risos> Meu conta é um terço mais na culpa. Ela não desnuda dela, mano. Ei, quem é essa cara aí? Convidado nosso. Quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, vou dar uma lição nele. <risos> então, o pai dela não desnuda. Patrão, filha da puta! Atrás de inocentes! Por que é que você vai ser mata? Você não te dá uma arma aqui! É aqui que você vai me acontecer, caralho! Tá pensando o quê? Ah? Onde é que você veio? Fica aí, caralho! Eu! Se fudeu, filha da puta! Otário! Olha aí, otário! Deixa eu sair daqui, velho! Ô, ô, ô! Segura a porta aí! Eu vi uma outra versão. Aqui, ô! Nós vamos resolver aquela parada lá, hein? Morou. Chega aí, chega aí. Valeu, amigo. Hey! What are you doing here? Huh? I ask you a question. Answer him! Answer him! What are you doing? What? What are you doing here? O que você está fazendo aqui? What are you doing here? I, I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are you what doing you here? Doing you here? Me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell is going on. I knew nothing resembling good times lay beyond that gate, but I was going to have to face the music sooner or later. Special Forces Painkillers. I guess our little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leaving at all. Luckily for me, for once, the police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working. Eu só sei que teve um apagão, isso é tudo que eu sei. Isso que você 
who it is, Mr. Strip Club Scumbag. Ah, uh, you. Yeah, me. I am mighty. You ain't gonna help me. You get what you deserve, pal. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. They were legal. That pervert could enjoy his time. It was time to leave this palace before somebody treated me to an extended stay. The last few prisoners were trapped in here and more presently, seemed I was too. Security switch had to be in that booth. They had their body armor, I had mine. It was Monday's arrest log as far as I could tell, and no sign of anybody from Nova Esperanza. All those poor bastards have been checked straight into the Imperial Palace Hotel. It had, had the right idea. There was no point bouncing bullets off that thing. I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then immediately regretted that decision.
wasn't this nice. The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking, drunk it, then blown my head off. Another dark, rainy night. Another police station. Another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward, and nothing changes. Every bastard in the joint must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time. Police food, the same crap the world over. But I could reminisce about the old days later. For now, there was more pressing matters to deal with. They'd come from the control room. It looked like the security cameras were still running.
I figured I should check out the security monitors while I had the chance. It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way. was rising. That meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. I saw the elevator doors were open. There was one thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo. It was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix. 